Welcome to this mini lecture on semi-structured interviews. I'm Dr. Corey Faclaris at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. For this mini lecture, we're gonna meet the following two learning objectives. You'll acquire foundational skills in usable security research, and you'll get an idea of how to practice foundational skills in usable security research. More in this module is going to help you put this into practice. As you might recall, human-centered design follows a five-step iterative process. Interviews are actually gonna help us at many stages, but particularly these three. They will help us to explore, generate, and evaluate our ideas. Semi-structured interviews are a method of asking questions and listening. You'll use a planned interview protocol with open-ended questions. You'll ask people basically about what you can't observe, and sometimes that's quite a bit. And it's gonna let people tell you what they know about themselves. First of all, what they do. Second, how they do things. Third, their opinions on current activities. And fourth, how much they like one thing compared with another. And useful technique to think about in this context is called the five whys. That helps us get to the root causes of technical problems. You can think about it like a toddler. They keep asking why even after you give them an answer and you keep having to dig deeper to satisfy them. So for example, you might say, well, why did the engineer use that API incorrectly? And you might say, well, the person who designed the API did not configure it correctly. And then you'd say, well, then why did that happen? Perhaps that person simply never received enough instruction on how to configure the API. Well, then why did that happen? Maybe you could say, well, that person's supervisor never allocated any training on the topic to them. Then why was that? Perhaps it was a resource problem within the department. Why was that? Maybe it's because that department has historically been underfunded in the company budget and that goes all the way to the board of directors. So you see that even a simple problem maybe has a much bigger co cause. And if we trace it back, we're gonna to get to the root cause. And so that's gonna help us fix it so it doesn't occur in the future. So in other words, what I'm saying is you need methods to dig deep and think too about not just that the cause of, of something might be hidden from you, at least in people's conscious awareness, but also what people say and what they do are often two different things. We wanna understand people's underlying goals. What are they trying actually to accomplish? What is their current behavior? And how do they basically spend their time? We also wanna know what are their priorities? What problems do they currently have? And what inefficiencies or costs are they putting up with? which can result in a number of workarounds that impact security and privacy. Now for the interview, you wanna use the proper setting. You'll need to build rapport. I recommend a little small talk to warm things up. And you should set expectations. Confirm how long the interview will take and ask if the participant still has time. Make sure to eliminate distractions. There should be no really audible or visual background that's going to interfere. So for instance, try to stay away from pets and roommates. And also body language is very important. You should practice this in a mirror. You want to maintain eye contact. You want to have good posture and you generally want to appear engaged. Now for managing the interview, I will also give you time in class to practice this. You wanna see how you're transitioning between questions. Because it's semi-structured, you can allow it to flow. It's a conversation and it doesn't have to follow the order that's on your piece of paper. You need to manage your time, however. Do keep tabs on the clock and be sure to prioritize the most important questions if you're running out of time. Finally, you yourself should be prepared to answer questions. Curious participants may ask you questions about the process or the topic, and you should be prepared to answer, or you can ask to delay the answer until after they've been interviewed. Thank you for this quick primer on semi-structured interviews. 
With your attention, I hope you'll be able to try this out for yourself.